tensions in the Middle East, a source of protests on the campus of Columbia University. Protesters tonight are vowing to keep up the pressure, even though more than 100 were arrested today. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan with the latest from Morningside Heights. In zip tie handcuffs, 108 protesters, most of them Columbia students, were led from the campus by police and charged with trespassing today. It was peaceful, but nobody was happy about it. We refuse to be silenced. We refuse to be ignored. We refuse to be bullied and harassed by an administration that cares more about donors and trustees than the safety and well being of their students. As protests off campus raged near the gates of the university, pro Palestine demonstrators, again, most of them Columbia students, had set up tents and an encampment on the south lawn of the school and vowed to stay there until Columbia divested itself of any financial entanglements with Israel. Officials with Columbia first asked them to leave, then threatened them with suspension if they didn't leave. And finally, today, called in the NYPD to make them leave. Based on the university's wishes to clear the South Lawn, which again is university property, arrests were made for trespass. These arrests were made without incident. The arrests come after Columbia's embattled president appeared before a congressional committee responding to allegations of anti-Semitism on campus. Neither side was comfortable with her performance. I'm calling for the resignation of President Shafi. Tonight, after the arrests, Palestinian students voiced their outrage as well. Today was a, a dark day for freedom of speech. I never imagined that I would be treated like this simply for expressing my right to free speech. Students have a right to free speech, but do not have a right to violate university policies and disrupt learning on campus. Among those arrested today and suspended from the university, the daughter of Minnesota Congresswoman Elon Omar, who was a student at Barnard College, she posted on social media that the arrest would not intimidate her.